I don't know about you, but I know what I'm looking for in a nonlinear editor, a video editor for my Look At Me Play Guitar video files. I'm looking for something fast, easy, uh, and cheap. Oh, and good quality. And it better be able to sync external audio with the video. Obviously, that's a big part of creating these videos for a lot of us. And I think I've found something that works, that meets all those criteria. So let's take a look at Shotcut as a tool for Look At Me Play Guitar video. Now, the way I usually use the program is to uh, start with File Explorer. There you go. I've got a video file and an audio file. There's video and there's audio. So I'll just drag the two of them over and drop them in the playlist. Now, it'll take a few moments for Shotcut to ingest the file. Anyway, once it's in the playlist, We'll drag it down here to the timeline, and the timeline is where we actually do the audio synchronization. Now the first clip that we drag, the video creates a track for it automatically, and there's the audio waveform that came with the video camera. Then I create an audio track, add that to uh, the timeline there, and I drag the audio onto that track. And now you can see the two spikes are pretty obvious where I clapped in the video. So if we put a cursor right there and then we use the zoom feature, we can zoom in and make sure we're lined up. Man, that looks pretty darn good. Nah, not quite. Let's hear how it sounds. Yeah, pretty close. If it were just a little bit further off, you can hear two echoes. There you go. And and it, if it's off by a little bit, sometimes you get a phasey kind of sound. So you want to make sure that it's as close as you can get it. You can go just a little bit further there. Oh, make sure you turn snapping off. Because that can make it hard to make small adjustments like this. All right, let's hear that. There you go, one single solid clap. <clears throat> so now we can turn off the, the audio from the camera and we'll in, now be using the, the audio from the Zoom recorder. So all that's left to do is uh, trim this file, get rid of the, the beginning and the ending where we were setting up. Somewhere right around in there looks good. We use the S function which splits the track at the playhead. And then we go back here and select this track and hit delete, select this track and hit delete. Then we use the remove feature to get rid of the blank space. And now our track begins where we want it to. Then we need to take care of the end. Uh, let's see. Something like that, a nice final po position. So once again, we use S and S, and then we click, delete, click, delete. When there's, there's our video. That's how long it took to sync audio, trim the head and tail, and create our clip. Well, actually, edit our clip. The creation comes when we hit the export button, and uh, Shotcut presents a nice, reasonable set of parameters. I, the video is complicated. I'm happy to take his suggestions because the output looks nice. So just hit the export file button and we're going to uh, give it a name. Let me see here. Yeah, we'll call this Salome La Shotcut MP4 and it starts creating it. It's pending. There it goes. It'll take a while, but uh, hopefully you can see that for simple synchronization of audio and video, trimming heads and tails, and uh, creating a new video clip, Shotcut has the goods.
it's quick and easy it makes good decisions in terms of defaults and such so I'm going to recommend it and I hope you find it useful.